I ran into Flora. Flora, uh, the first time I talked to you was September 26th, so about a month ago, a little over a month ago, I talked to you and um, I ran into you today and I asked you, how have you been? Uh, you said you're doing great, but uh, it was your it was your birthday recently, right? So happy belated birthday, October 25th. Mm -hmm. You yeah. turned 20 years old. Yeah. How, how, how'd you spend your birthday? Um, I went and bought a dinner for me, um, Roberto and one of uh, our close friends. Okay, so you're, you had a, di a birthday dinner. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Um, what else is new with you and Roberto? Anything else? Um, we're almost clean. We've been uh, d doing really good on getting off. We should be off like within the next couple days, I think. And uh, um, Cass is going to help us go back to New Mexico. Okay, so you said you're almost clean. So uh, when I met you the first time, at that time, were you guys trying to get clean or? Yeah, but uh, we were like, um, like we were doing a lot then. So but like now, we're, how many per day? Um, because we, we would share, it would probably be like thirty. Okay, and now what is what is it per day? Like one with us both. And how do you? So you guys are doing that by yourselves, or you guys are doing methadone, or what? We're doing it by ourselves. Okay. That's good, right? Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel better. I feel like, um, I feel more energized. Okay. And you mentioned Cass is going to send you to New Mexico. Cass is Central Arizona Shelter Services, right? So that's the uh, network of shelters by the state of Arizona. So you, you went down there and they said, hey, you asked them for a ticket to get out of here? Yeah, we uh, were working with um, some program and uh, they uh, take us over there to CAS at the end of work and they told us that we could talk to one of the case workers to um, work towards getting a ticket back home. And you mentioned Roberto is from New Mexico. You're from here, but you have family in New Mexico. Yeah, uh, my mother and my great grandmother. And down there, you're just going to start life over again, or? Um, that's the plan, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I've been, I've been out back there back and forth a few times within the past few years. Okay. But, um, I'm hoping this time will be better instead of just the same deal how it was with my parents. Is that, like, just not getting along and... Um... Uh, last in the last video, I mentioned how I used to take care of them and stuff, and used to have to provide like food and a roof over their heads. You were the provider. Mhm. Mm yeah. It shouldn't be that way, right? No. no it should never be like that. But um, yeah. So we're hope I'm hoping that uh, uh, when we go out there, we're definitely clean. Like there ain't gonna be no if ands or buts. To, it's that. It's gonna be that. And uh, hopefully we could get a, a job and get back on our feet and do better. Okay, so those are great goals. Mm -hmm. You're you're very positive, right? You want to get clean, you want to get a job, yeah. get on your feet, and just live the life that you deserve, right? Yeah. It's awesome. It's really good to hear, right? Because I'm not prompting you. I'm not, you know, leading you. Like you're the one, you know, stating mm -hmm. all this, and that's that's great. So, anything else that you've seen out here? Um, any, I've noticed a lot of people out here. Um, it just seems like more and more people coming out here every day almost. What are you noticing? Uh, any changes or is kind of the same from a month ago? Um, I've noticed uh, down here at the park um, that it's been getting more empty. That uh, I, I I've been hearing that they've been getting, people being getting chased away by the police uh, due to the Super Bowl. All right, the Super Bowl is in uh, Glendale, Arizona, right, where the Arizona Cardinals play. And so the city of Glendale 
And that's, the Super Bowl is gonna happen in God, February, I think, right? Mm -hmm. So um, the city is trying to start cleaning up a little bit, I guess now, right? Yeah. For the visitors, the just you know tons of visitors, visitors gonna come for a Super Bowl weekend probably. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, you might that might be true. You know, I, I'm I'm not really haven't been following that, but. Um, I'm just so excited for you to to be talking so positively and just uh, looking forward to better things. I think that's really great. I think that's uh, you should be proud of yourself because a lot of people don't don't say that, you know. Yeah. So the same cycle over and over again. But I see a glimmer of hope in your eyes, you know. Um, and Roberto is where right now? He's back at the camp watching our things. Okay. Is that how, when you, so you said you came to get food from the store. Yeah. Is that how it is? Like one of you will come and the other one stays back to watch stuff? Yeah, well usually we would have our friend watching it and we'll go together, but uh, she recently moved to her own little spot. Okay. So now it's one at a time with us. Okay, got it. Uh, that's funny, it's, it's so odd. I, I was uh, driving by and I was thinking about you and Roberto. Oh, you know, because I passed by the original spot where I met you. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. I wonder if there's some, you know, my head turning on a swivel right back and forth. Are they there? Are they there? Are they there? <laughs> and I turned and I looked. There you were. 60 seconds later, boom, I ran into you. You know, it's like we had a meet so you could say bye. Right? That's crazy. <laughs> it is. Um, you said that you had gone to the channel after I interviewed you. You had gone to the channel and, uh, and, uh, and just saw some of the interviews, right? Yeah. And I asked you if you knew some of those people, right? Yeah. Did you recognize anybody? Yeah, I recognized um, a few people on there. It's I, a, is it the same story, do you think? Um, no, like it's the same outcomes, but uh, different back, background stories. Yeah. It, it's a, I, I grew up in state custody, it was, so I, I heard a lot of similar stories growing up. Like uh, CPS mm -hmm. was the state. Yeah. Had um, you were a ward of the state, like they were responsible for you until you turned 18, basically. Is that what yeah. you're saying? Do you think the state could do a better job of helping young people when they're in there? They, they could do a way better job than what they've been doing when I was in there. Because um, they just, uh, it feels like they just want to diagnose you with some sort of disability and then put you on meds and that's that you know who could also do a better job yeah. our parents you know yeah i think parents you know we have to be responsible for the children we create right right and uh, you have a point about the state but the state didn't create you Right. right. Your parents did, right? My parents created me, so it's their responsibility. The children I created, I'm responsible for them and on and on, you know? Yeah. So I think we just all need to do a better job of being accountable for, you know, what we're responsible for, right? Yeah. So there's some truth to that, right? Right. And I'm not trying to be judgmental. I'm just, just, just you know, I've, I've, no, I, I've, I've I interviewed a lot of people, especially uh, recently, a lot of folks that are, you know, expecting a baby. Oh, really? And they're out here. Yeah. So that's sad, you know? I feel bad for the baby, you know? Right. So, uh, when uh When I was younger and when I was in state custody, I always wanted to start adopting teenagers and stuff and help them do better and not end up in the situation I'm in. You, you can still do that. Yeah. I because you're too. 20 years old. You could go back to school, go get a degree, go get a certification, a counseling certification, and just impact other lives. In your 20 years, I can't even imagine the things you've seen and where you've been and how you've had to grow up so fast, right? Yeah. So use that to help others, to prevent others from coming out here, right? Yeah. So, right, that's... Yeah, I, I've been doing that um, already with some people that I've been growing up with. Um, my best friend, she uh, she's she's kind of going downhill, but I've always been there for her, and I like 
she, she kind of seems to me like a, as a mom because I've been there since she's like 12 and uh, I'm taking care of her and looking out for her. Is she out here? Um, no, I don't think she's on this side of town. But I she's struggling with stuff? Yeah. That could lead her to live in this type of life, unfortunately. Yeah. So I'll see how people your age look at you as a mom, a mom figure, because of your how mature you are, mm -hmm. how you had to mature at a young age, right? Yeah. So I think you have a great story to tell, mm -hmm. and you're doing it here, right? Because you're impacting. Somebody's going to watch this video. It's going to be impacted by you, right? But what else can you do to further your life and impact yourself towards more positivity, right? Because you have full ownership of that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that are concerned. Oh, you know, Roberto, he's a little bit older than her, and 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 manipulating and all this stuff. And I, I to me, I, I I do a pretty good job of like assessing the situation, right? If I felt you were in danger from him or anybody else, mm -hmm. I would step in. But I didn't see that. I didn't feel it. You know, so you're happy where you're at, you know, yeah. I mean, as far as, you know, having companionship out here, because, it's, again, it's dangerous out here. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and that safety is, is good because mm -hmm. you're going to be out. Or, if you're going to be out here, it better be safe. Right. And so um, and so uh, I'm glad that you guys are able to team up and kind of try to defeat this addiction and uh, these you know being out here in the streets you know together right and yeah. i hope that it turns around for you okay i'm gonna last time i talked to you guys i had run run out of uh, cards but i'm gonna give you a card so that when you get to new mexico or you become a counselor you're clean and you're impacting young people's lives you can call me okay all right uh i'm also gonna give you some uh narcan uh, you already know what that is you already know how to use it yeah. right so keep that for you or somebody else to to maybe you can save a life literally okay and uh, i'm also going to give you a donated um blessing bag from one of my subscribers a friend friend of mine her name is shorty okay mm -hmm. so um Can you uh, do me a favor and just look through the, the bag and see if those are items that you could use? Yeah. <laughs> Robert will always be getting himself cuts and stuff. <laughs> Oh, really? We're so, always struggling finding band-aids. Really? <laughs> and I, but as soon as I pick it up, I see band-aids. <laughs> so toiletries, band-aids, what Roberto needs, snacks, some mm -hmm. socks, wipies. Yeah. People out here in the streets love wipies, right? Is that true? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You get a, we have like eight bags like this big. <laughs> awesome. Uh, a little brand new shirt. Yeah. Blanket. I just got one too. I was sad because I couldn't get him one. Well, now you, boom, there it is. Now, <laughs> now you got him one. You're gonna get back and be like, what the hell? It's like Christmas, right? He's like, what happened to you? Where'd you get all this stuff from, right? Yeah, he's gonna be all, he's gonna be all psyched seeing, uh, hearing that around to you. That's awesome. There's a water in here. Ah. Water and a little letter. So if you want to put that stuff back in the bag, I'll hold a letter for you. And then um, uh, this little letter is from Shorty. She wrote it for you, a uh, little message for you, if you could read it. And then um, there's also a little gift card to QT, um, a little voucher for, uh, for soda. Work. It's like a little. You just take it up to the counter. Say, hey, I can get a free. I can get a free soda. Oh. You know, like they'll they'll know. That's cool. Yeah, it's a little piece of paper, like mm -hmm. a coupon. It looks like a little coupon. Take it up to the register and say, 
No, I can get a thirst buster or whatever. Blanket right in there. <laughs> yeah, she's jammed in there. Jammed it in there. Okay, so uh, go. so there's uh, the little letter. If you can just uh, open up the little card that she has for you. It says uh. First, I want to say thank you for accepting this blessing bag. My family and and Joey helped me make for you. I only ask that you do me a favor and say a prayer for me as I battle my struggles with depression, anxiety, and awful thoughts as well. When you can, please pay it forward and bless someone by simply being a friend and helping someone in need. I hope these items help out a little. Be safe and please call Art to go to treatment. We really do care and are appreciating, or are, pray, are praying for you. Love, Shorty. So uh, that's uh, the $5 gift card to QT, a little voucher for a soda from Circle K, mm -hmm. and uh, Please take care of yourself, Flora. Uh, say hi to Roberto. Tell him that uh, I believe in you guys to get better and just transform your lives to, you know, something more positive. Okay. Okay. Uh, when you can get a hold of me and say, hey, we made it to New Mexico. We're safe or we're clean or, or anything. We'll try to send you a video. That'd be That's awesome. Okay. That'd be amazing. Okay. So okay. in the meantime, please stay safe. Take care of yourself, and we'll talk again. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank Bye. You. Bye.